I'm going to invite the six of you to come up and have at it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Juan Muratana, for those of, you, for the, those of you who don't know me. I'm one of the graduating chiefs, and I wanted to give a speech first. I asked my co-residents if I could, and they, they agreed uh, to, go, to let me go first. Um, I just want to start saying by saying that I'm very proud of, of graduating from Jacksonville. Very, very proud. Uh, for those of you who know me, I'm very proud of where I come from. I'm, I'm Costa Rican, I'm very proud, and I let everyone know that uh, all the time. One of the things that, <laughs> one of the things that uh, you know, kind of reminds me of where I come from is my accent. You know, I have an accent, and, and I'm very proud of it. And you know, on a daily basis, it reminds me of where I come from, and I, and I, and I actually like that. Um, you know, I'm from a very small town in Costa Rica, it's actually called Buenos Aires, kind of like the Argentina's capital, and um, that's what it's called, it's Buenos Aires, Argent uh, Costa Rica, and, um, and there's nothing there in that town, it really, there's only, there's, all there is is a bunch of pineapples, all the pineapples you guys buy in the grocery store, they come from, most of them come from my hometown. And that's all there is. And my cousins who are from other places in, in Costa Rica, they make fun of me like, dude, why are you going to your hometown? It's just a bunch of pineapples and that's it, you know? And to me, it's the best place in the world. It's the best, best place in the world. I love it. My mom just built a home there and, and we were there with, with all the chiefs um, at, at the housewarming party and it was great. And my, my grandma's there, my, all, you know, my mom's side of the family lives there and I just love, it's my happy place. I, I go there and it's just my happy place. I love that town. Um, so like I said, I'm very proud of where I come from. And, and in a few years, when we're going to that we're going to, you know, it kind of starts here and then we're going to develop our careers and it's going to be great. And, and one day, you know, we're going to be at a meeting, presenting at a meeting, and someone's going to ask me, where, you know, where did you train? And I'm going to proudly say I trained at Jacksonville OMFS. And, and very proud of where I come from. Um, the, <clears throat> Next, I want, to, I want to share with you a story uh, about me that some of you know if you're very close to me, uh, but not a lot of you know uh, this story. And, and basically, it's, it's a story about how I how I got here, and 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 it's because of my mom and my dad. Basically, you know why I'm here today, and and um, technically, you know what happened was, you know my parents actually were divorced when I was very young, and but they kept a very beautiful relationship uh, throughout the years. When I was 15, it was my mom was a single mom <coughs> raising me and my two sisters, and my dad was he was in the states uh, already, you know, uh, remarried, and but he had the opportunity to file for a green card, and uh, he talked to my mom and said, "Listen, I'm I'm getting a green card, and I want the kids to come up for a year. Would you mind letting me borrow, you know, let me you know, let me borrow the kids for a year, and so they can live with me, and they can get a green card as well." and Mom was a single mom, so all she had was us three, and she agreed. She said, I think that's the best thing for the kids. I'm going to send them up to the States with you for a year, and then you give them back to me, right? <laughs> but, uh, obviously, it didn't happen. It's, it's really hard to get, you know, to get that going, and uh, it, did, it took seven years for us to get it. And, uh, but obviously, my mom would come up every year and kind of see spend time with us. But she, you know, you can imagine being in Costa Rica without your kids and and being a single mom. So I thank you, mom, for that. You're the most amazing person I know. And I have to say this in Spanish. So, so we came to the States, and, and you know, obviously, there's a lot of opportunities here. and. Um, I told my dad I wanted to go to med school, I wanted to be a doctor, I wanted, you know, when I was in high school, that's what I was saying. And, um, and uh, you know, I ended up applying, applying to St. Mary's College of Maryland, they accepted me. I asked my dad the question, because I was like, can I apply to college, can I, you know, can I do that right now? And he said, yeah, why don't you go ahead and do it. So I did. Two, two schools said, uh, we need some paperwork, uh, because you don't have a green card, and uh, the other two said, welcome to the class of 2000 whatever, and, uh, you know. If you pay tuition, welcome, you know? <laughs> and so uh, I ended up doing that for a semester, 
But then at the end of the first semester, I get a phone call from administration, and they're like, oh, so, so Armando, would you mind giving us your student visa number? And I say, I don't have a student visa number. And they're like, okay, would you mind giving us your green card number? And I say, I don't have that either. No, we made a mistake. You, you, you need to have one of those two things to be able to go to a state university. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I don't have any of those two. So it's finals week. I'm studying for biology finals. Uh, what do you want me to do? They're like, well, go ahead and finish up your test, but you can't come back next semester unless you have something. I'm like, all right. So, you know, I'm contemplating at that point. Uh, you know, my family's in the construction business, so I said, okay, well, I'll just go and do construction, I guess. You know, I can't be a doctor anymore. Uh, then my uncle stepped into, into the picture and he said, you know, if you're serious about this, there's a school in Kentucky where his business partner went. And if you want to go there, we talked to them already. They don't, they're not state funded. If you pay tuition, they'll welcome you there. I'm like, all right, well, let's go to Kentucky then. So I uh, drove eight hours all the way to Kentucky by myself, set up shop. In, in St. Mary's College, I wasn't doing so well. I was like, getting B's and C's and mediocre grades. But once, you know, once this happened, this little event happened, it kind of uh, gave me a sense of appreciation of, you know, what I had in front of me. And it was, you know, to get an education here, it's, it's amazing. And, and so I, I couldn't take it for granted. And so when I went to Kentucky, you know, I, I, I studied very, very hard. I got straight A's. I got a full ride uh, at Thomas More College, and, and I was able to graduate. By that time, the green card came along, and, and that was great. So I was able to apply to dental school at Columbia University, one of the best, one, one of the best ones in the country. And, and at that point, you know, I had my mindset that I was going to do it. I was, I was going to get it done. And, and my, my dream at that point was to become an oral maxillofacial surgeon. And, and I was going to get it done. And so uh, went to Colombia. That's where I met Carlo, and and known Carlo for ten years now. It's kind of like a marriage sometimes. <laughs> you know, he, um, he like, I, you know, he gets he, he gets on my nerves. And then, and then, but I can't get mad at him. You know, I just I just can't. He's like he's like that annoying big brother. You know, you always have. Uh, and um, had the opportunity to go to Colombia, and, and again, like everyone here who's in this program, got good grades and was able to apply to one of the best programs in the nation, which is this one. And, um, and I actually, you know, I actually wasn't going to come here. I was going to go to uh, another program where I had externed twice. I liked the residents. The residents liked me. It was close to New York, <clears throat> where, where I already was. And Jackson was actually my last interview. I had like 12 interviews. Jackson was my last one. And, and, the only, and I applied here because Carlo had been here twice. And he's he telling me great things about this program. Jackson, really? Huh. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so I, I wanted to check it out for myself. And I said, okay, well, I'm, I'm already, my mind was in this, this other, I was going to go to this other program. And I already, my rank list was already made in my mind. But I applied here, I got the interview, and I actually set, a small, I set up a small, inter, uh, a, a small externship before my interview. And I spent a week here with the residents, get to know the attendings. And, and I just, I just fell in love. I just fell in love with Jacksonville. I just fell in love with the, with the, with, with the residents, with the, with their work ethic, with the respect they treat each other, and also the attendings are amazing. And uh, you know, being able to, to operate with Dr. Fernandez, with the Pataya, with the Steinberg, uh, to share the producers. I mean, it's kind of like operating with them is kind of like being in. Uh, Playing in the team with Michael Jordan, LeBron James, you know, if you like basketball, or like, or like Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. And you're playing in that team. You're training with them every single day. You, you're training with the best. That's what it's like here in Jacksonville. And, and we take it for granted. And sometimes you just kind of have to step back and say, oh, my God, like, these are the guys I'm operating with. These guys are, you know, uh, putting out book chapters. You know, every book, every, and any of the latest books in oral maxillofacial surgery, you open it up. And our name, their names are there. All their names are there. And we have we got visitors from 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 all over the world. And they they you know they open up the books that I have in my in my living room, and they're like, oh, I want to I want to get that book, and I want to get it signed by Dr. Tahi and Dr. Fernandez and Dr. Producers, and I just want to get their signatures because they're you know they're literally you know celebrities. And 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 it's it's a pleasure and an honor to to say that I trained under them. Um, so, just the, 
to continue with the story, you know, I ended up coming to Jacksonville. Intern year was a, an amazing year. Uh, it was the toughest year of my life. Uh, it, was, it was a very challenging year, but you know, we got it done. Mark, uh, Anthony, Carlo, and Rob Wonderly. We all worked together as a team. Got it done, and uh, went off went off to med school. Med school was great. We made some great people. Jade and uh, with, uh, who's now uh, Carlos' wife, and then I met uh, my best friend Ivan over there, and Diana, and um, it, it was just an amazing experience as well. Came to Jacksonville and and, and you know did anesthesia and everything, and now uh, Chief Year was another amazing year. Learned so much. Uh, the learning curve that year is is very steep, and um, very proud, very proud of where I trained, uh, and just to. To finish up my, my speech, I just want to say that uh, I just want to thank everyone, and I just want to, I know some of the interns that are starting on Monday are here, and I just want to tell you guys that you guys are, are uh, uh, the next six years are going to be amazing, uh, believe it or not, um, and uh, if I had to do six years again here at Jacksonville Open Fest, I would sign up tomorrow. It's been six great years. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank all the faculty, all the clinic faculty, the OR faculty, um, and all the co-residents, all the seniors, and everyone else for making it uh, special six years. I really, tr I truly believe, you know, I always say, and, and I, when I post things on social media, I always say Jack's family, because uh, I really feel, I feel like, like we, we have a nice little family going on here. And it's 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 uh, it's an honor uh, to meet all you guys, to have met all you guys. Last but not least, my girlfriend Rona. She is the sweetest person I know. She is she's gone above and beyond in many many things, and especially this week with my family being in town, she threw me a, a get together. Last week. It was amazing. The food, the, the cake, everything was great. Thank you, and um, thank you everybody, and have a good night. received an email from our coordinator before this whole thing started and they told us no more than five to ten minutes. And, and I'm sure 